continue on working through the song Tom um, we're going to start on the second verse now. So in this verse, I suppose, I'll just give you a rough translation of what the verse is telling us. He's telling us that his house is in a very nice area of the village um, and that it's next to a stream that flows by his house and he has seven acres of land uh, with plenty of um, crops growing in them. So that's kind of what he's saying in this verse. So, Ta ma hailach son oit is far er on male sha. Let me say that once more. Ta ma hailach son oit is far er on male sha. So that's kind of how we phrase it when we'd be singing it. Um, as I said before, please rewind and re listen if you need to. So the next line then, a bark on trahoin. So that might be a little tricky word to say. A bark on trahoin. A horian shacht nakere. A horian shacht nakere. So I'm going to say it now as if in the same rhythm that we will be singing it in. Tom Hailach son oit is farer on my lesha. Okay, so that's the second line. Moving on swiftly to the third line. Crinacht a false own. Ho hard lesh na klahach. That's a nice tongue twistery kind of a word, kalahacha. So I'm going to say that again as we will, you know, with the, with the same rhythm as when we sing it. Krinnacht a fos an ho hard lesh na kalahacha. Kalahacha. That might, again, could be a tricky word to get your tongue around. And the last line then. Sme effehiv dun lawson go vekig me a big eid. So there are quite a lot of words in these uh, lines compared to this, the last song we did. So it is important that you focus really in on how the words are pronounced and make sure that you have them written phonetically to make it easier for yourself when you are learning them. So I'm going to say that last line again. Sme efehiv dun la sun ga vekig me a big eid. Okay, so I'm going to go straight in and sing the first line. Again, like we've been doing, listen where you hear the ornamentation, pause if you need to, take a little note and do whatever is easiest for yourself. So, first line. Tama Hailach sung oit. Tama Hailach sung oit. The word oit there has a little bit of ornamentation. Tama Hailach sung oit. Is farer and milesha. Is farer and mile, milesha. Again, it's coming from back here in the back of your throat. Do not move your head when you're, when you're trying to get that ornamentation is in. Um, it's very important that you ideally probably stand when you're singing and, you know, sit up straight and make sure your lungs are, f are filled. So I'll do that line once more. Tama hailach sun oit is farer on malisha. Next line. E bar contra hain a harin shach nakere. And again. E bar contra hain hain e bar contra hain a harin shacht nakere a harin shacht nakere. Okay, and moving on to the third line. Kurin nachte fa san ho hard lish na klache. Kurin nachte fa san ho hard lish na klache. Again, it's fairly straightforward here. 
Kur in Nacht de Fass an Chohart is ne Klache. And last line. Smefeld and Tross and Govek in me Abigyad. Smefeld and Tross and Govek in me Abigyad. And again, you're finishing on the high note, getting ready to go into the kurfa, into the chorus. So when you're going back over these lyrics and this verse, make sure to try and include the chorus as well. So in the, in the second verse, he was telling us all about his house, where it's situated, and that he has plenty of crops growing. In the next verse, he's telling us about his garden, that he has plenty of fruit and vegetables growing plentiful in the garden. And what he does is he gathers up um, the gooseberries that he has growing and some of the blackberries, and he puts them into a bag of sugar, and he leaves them to make jam for his wife and for their little baby, so like a little sweet treat. So, pa thar hi eg fos im gardin ga slachte he. Once more, pa thar hi eg fos im gardin ga slachte he. And I'm going to continue on to the second line. Ule spu non agus karini daruga. Ule spu non agus karini daruga. Third line. Shukra e mala le raha go tashke he. So, like I said, there are quite a lot of words in these lyrics, so. Take your time and take as much time as you need. Shukra i mala le rohe go tashkehe. And the last line. Hun sov is mil shine, dun vob is dun vanultra. Hun sov is mil shine, dun vob is dun vanultra. Great work. Um, so I'm going to. Sing the, the lines now, and you can hear again where ornamentation is kept. Ta tarig fas in harding a slachtehe. So coming towards the end of the line, there is where you'll hear the ornamentation. And if you feel like you might, an ornamentation might come to you naturally in the middle of the line or at the beginning, that's fine as long as it keeps within, I suppose, the rhythm of the song as well. That it doesn't break up the the rhythm um, of the song. Ta tarhi eg fas in harding go slachtehe, go slachtehe. Second line. Ule spew nein, ule spew nein, spew nein, agus karini daruge. Third line. Shukra imale le rahge tashkehe. Shukra imale le rahge tashkehe. And finally, Hun sov is mil shine. Hun sov is mil shine. Dun vob is dun van ultra. So I'll do that whole verse. Ta tarhi eg fas in harding a slachtehe. Ule spu nein agus karini daruge. Shukra e male le rahge tashkehe. Hun sov is mil shain, dun vab is dun vandal tre. So there you have those two verses. So practice those and then move on to the next lesson where we'll do the rest of the verses.